A resolution that would have moved Halloween celebrations in Utah to the last Friday of the month fails on Capitol Hill. Universe Live reporter Kalei Fink spoke with several people who say they would have liked the measure to pass. State Senator Kirk Cullimore presented State Concurrent Resolution 5, which aimed to move the day Utahns celebrated Halloween. The resolution highly encourages Utah communities to celebrate Halloween on the same day each year, that day being the last Friday in October. However, the resolution failed in the Senate with a vote of 9 to 16. I think that it would be totally fine to have everything on Friday because already most parties um, for college-age students are held on Friday and Saturday regardless of what day Halloween really falls on. The resolution encourages all festivities to be held on that last Friday, including trick-or-treating. It just makes sense. There's no, I've yet to hear a logical reason for why Halloween should stay on the 31st, and I've heard a lot of logical reasons for why it should be changed to the last Friday. Some arguments for the resolution include school nights for kids and college students, and even working adults wanting to go to sleep earlier than trick-or-treaters allow. It's nice to have this the day before the weekend, knowing that when my kid grows up and wants to go trick-or-treating, that she doesn't have to wait until the next day or something to eat all of her candy. The senator recognizes the historical relevance of the 31st, with the day marking the celebration of the harvest. Cullimore argues that the meaning and celebration of the holiday has changed to carving pumpkins, bobbing for apples, and children wearing costumes seeking treats. I have a few nieces and nephews, and I think that it would also be best for them to have Halloween celebrations on Friday because they have school during the week, and also their parents have work during the week, so it would just be better for everyone. Although this topic has been tabled for now, we will see if it ever returns to the Utah State Legislature. Reporting for The Universe Live in Salt Lake City, I am Kalei Fink.